What's up, pinheads? Give me one minute. One second, friends. We're almost ready. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Are you ready to walk through some rules on the brand new code update of 007? Uh, we've got the infamous, the uber famous Michael Extreme Vinicor. <laughs> Hello, Internet. It's good to be back here with Jackson Danger. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's been a lot of stuff that has come out with this game in the last few updates. Um, and we want to make sure that you are getting the biggest bang for your buck point wise and understand everything that's happening truly and fully so you can really kick everyone's butt uh, out in the arcade there. Uh, and Mike is here to talk through some of those nuances of the new modes or multipliers and stuff like that. And um, what we're gonna do up front is we're, gonna, we're actually gonna take the glass off. We're gonna let Mike explain uh, some stuff that maybe uh, some folks might be confused about or things that he really wants to emphasize. And then we'll put the glass back on and we'll beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> All right, friends? In pinball. In pinball, in face. pinball. Let me, let me I'm clarify. Not much, I'm not much of a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> let me clarify, let me clarify. Uh, so yeah, Mike, uh, the, the floor is yours, my dude. All right. So. For the benefit of those who might be new to the James Bond thing, I'll give a brief overview of like the the you know the, the sky view of the structure of the game. You've got six villains, you've got six henchmen, you have six Spectre weapons, and you have six Q branch modes, and you have six Bond women. The Bond women are your playfield multiplier. To qualify them, you have to interact with different parts of the playfield. So the pop bumpers will get you one of them. Um, the spinner will get you another, the left eject, the DB5, the rocket, and the right orbit. And these are the, these are the, the, the playfield multipliers that have previously uh, not made it into the game until recently. Until the update before yesterday was when we introduced the Rock Bond Woman multiplier. Um, you also qualify the Q branch modes in the same way. Um, same, you know, the same six things will light, you know, each one's tied to a movie. Excellent. So for the Bond women, you know, you have to hit the rocket, I believe it's 10 times to light that one. So many pop bumpers and the display tells you how many left until you have, until you reach that. Yeah. Once you qualify the Bond woman, she will, her insert will be blinking on the side loop. Um, that means you've qualified her, but you have not collected her yet. Okay. Now. Were you to drain with yes. any of those blinking, yeah. they will be carried over to the next Killer. ball. Okay, cool. When you shoot the side loop, that will collect the Bond Woman and light it solid. Now it's in your bank for the playfield multiplier, and your and your action button on the lockdown bar will light pink. Um, if you activate it, you get one X for every solidly lit Bond Woman. Okay. Um, if you have multiple, is, is it additive or multiplicative? It's additive, so, <laughs> well, so it's plus one X yeah, for each okay, one, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you get all six, it's a seven X playfield yeah, multiplier, got it. right? That's killer. Um, the higher your playfield multiplier, the higher the timer is on the playfield multiplier. Oh, killer! So I believe it starts at twenty seconds on the two X, and it's uh, seventy seconds for seven X. And also, if you do the full seven X, you get a thirty second ball saver, so you're guaranteed thirty seconds of seven X. Uh, and that that also kicks this guy off blinking. Yeah, the the 007 insert will let will will 
uh, will be on dur through the duration of any playfield multiplier. Okay, cool. It's a little misleading because it seven, says 7x seven playfield multiplier one lit. We later made a design, de design decision until we wanted it to light all the time so the player can see, oh, it's active. Rock and right? roll. Um, important notes, any solidly lit bond women you have, that whether you use them or not, you lose them when you drain. So there's a whole risk and reward of how high do you want to build it and risk draining, right? So, and if you have multiple ones blinking, you have to shoot that side loop each time to collect one. You can only collect one at a time. One at a time. You can't it. collect you six can't on fire one shot. Up and then Correct, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. So if there's six lit, you got to make six loops. Got it. Um, you can recall, while you have the playfield multiplier running, you cannot add more play. You cannot qualify any other bond women. So you, again, you're choosing. All right, if I'm cashing out at four oh, x, oh, okay. I can't bring three more in there or or advance those three while the playfield multiplier is running. Killer. When the playfield multiplier runs out, you can requalify all of them again. But any one on that same ball you have already used will become harder to qualify. So it takes more shots. Rock and roll. When yeah. you when you get back to ball two it resets to the base of like what you have to do to qualify the ones you don't have. Rock and roll. Uh, for those just tuning in, and this is gonna be available on YouTube too, um, we're just going through a lot of the, the new updates and like code changes and just code additions and stuff that came with the last couple of updates just to like help people better understand what's what's happening here. No one better than Mike Vinicor to explain this stuff. Um, and so we're just gonna we're just gonna run through a bunch of things that you can later go back and check and like re-educate yourself or whatever you need to do to like understand really how to blow this thing up. And then we're gonna get into some actual gameplay battles. All right. All right. Okay, so that covers the playfield multipliers. So yesterday's release, we added the first of uh, four movie wizard modes that are gonna be in the game. Okay. We added Ahoy, Mr. Bond. That is qualified currently from if you complete any six of one category. So if I, and by, I'm sorry, if you play any six, there's some confusion out there. Though, read me, we should, we should have worded it a little bit better. You need only play six of the modes. You don't have to complete the six oh, modes, right? Cool. okay. So if you started a mode and drained, you, you get the credit for Qualified. playing it. Okay, yep. cool. So um, if you do any six, so if you do henchman, specter weapon, uh, villain, or Q branch, once you played six, then on the right ramp will be lit for the wizard mode, and you'll see this strobing oh, dope. thing, right? Yep. Um, Ahoy Mr. Bond is a one ball wizard mode, Ooh. and every shot on the play field, except for the side ones, are lit. Uh, oh, sorry, the side ramp, I believe, is also lit. They're lit, and, each, and there's a hurry up running, and that's the value of the next shot. You have to make each shot twice. Every time you make one, the hurry up resets, and then two million points get added to the base. So the, it starts at, I believe, five million, the next hurry up will start at seven million, nine million. Oh, also, when you're on the second shot, so for example, the left eject, I have to do that one twice, mm -hmm. right? The second one on each shot is worth two X. Okay, cool. So, you know, a, four, a seven million hurry up now is a 14 million shot if you get it really quickly. You could really blow the thing up by doing combos and just the faster you're picking off the lit shots, you're, you're just raking in the points. Rock and roll. Um, you couple that with your playfield multiplier and you can really go to yeah, town. Yeah, you're gonna be dumping points everywhere. Um, and the next update that's coming pretty soon, we will add another wizard mode and then how it's gonna work. You said you have one of four? One of four, <laughs> one of four movie wizard modes, okay. right? And then there's a, then the final wizard mode is Her Majesty's Secret Service. Okay, got it. That's gonna happen when you light all these middle ones solid, which means you played everything in the game, right? You played every villain, every henchman, every Q, every specter weapon, oh, and you collected one of every bond woman, bond woman in yeah. that game. Cool. You don't have to complete any of that stuff to do it. Just had to have you just had to have played, played it. Played it. Yeah. Um, when we get the next wizard mode in and the subsequent ones after that, when you qualify a wizard mode, you're gonna be able to select which wizard mode you play. Killer, yeah. So you won't yeah. you're never gonna so you won't be in the same married to the same path it's not every time, right? I like that. So just like in the same way you're gonna you choose your villain or your henchman, yeah. where the pop bumpers move it but the gold finger target steps through one at a time, yeah. we're doing the same thing for the wizard awesome. mode. Excellent. Um, that's that's cool. really exciting because a lot of games, it's like you you got one wizard mode here, you got yep. one wizard mode and there, the and you're always seeing the and same and thing yep. in the same way. Yep. This way, you'll have a lot of freedom of like which ones you like the most you want to see first, especially for those that maybe will only see one in a game. Yep. You know? Oh, fair. Um, so that covers that. If you got want, let's go through the, the modes that are in the game because I think a lot of people don't seem to realize is there's the obvious way to finish modes, but a lot of the modes in this game, the villain and the henchman especially, and the Q branch have another method in the game that 
is that makes a lot you know like gets more, a lot more points more lucrative yeah, yeah there's a there's a less obvious thing to do a more skillful thing that, so instead of just blowing through it you can actually sit there and milk some correct yeah there, i tried to design a lot of risk and reward into all the modes that sure. i worked on with lonnie and um and i th and we've done that in most the q branch are the most obvious as far as the risk and reward mm -hmm. um so that those are uh well let's take off the glass yeah show pop you. the glass off uh internet we're gonna remove the glass and he's gonna walk through some of that stuff and uh give me one minute i just want to take a quick minute to say i missed you all i love you dearly um i love you <laughs> i've missed you all as well <laughs> it's been a while since i've been here it's been a while it's pretty comfortable in here. Are you are you okay? Yeah, it's all right. Awesome. Well then we're good. I'm gonna start some I dress for summer, of course. You dress for spring. I'm you dress for spring. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen you in shorts. No, no sure. I have weird chicken legs. Oh, I do too. <laughs> I just figured Wait, it, you do have chicken I legs. I totally do. <laughs> I just I'm just comfortable with them. Alright, so um, let me start a game. I might have to turn that down just a little bit. Perfect. Is that better? Yeah, go for it. How are we sounding, Internet? Can you hear us okay? Yeah, they should be good. Okay, so I'll start you with the Q branch since those are the most recent things, right? So let's get a, we'll get the Q branch over here first off the lefty jack. So you can see on the display, one more of these will light Q branch, two more of them will light the Bond woman. Okay. So now I'll start my key branch mode and we have power pack. So the obvious thing, right? You've got all these white arrows and one orange arrow. The orange arrow is what advances me. I need to make five of them to get to the multi-ball. But every white arrow I pick off before the orange arrow will increase the value of that next shot, which and that value is cumulative and it becomes my jackpot. Oh, so the next shot's two million. See, now the like next my CSS million. jackpack grows. Now it's four million. So now it's five million if I make this thing. Now that's a five million shot. Oh, you got a combo off of it. Yeah, I got a combo off of it too. <laughs> Kissy. Okay, so that we're now, that, and then it keeps growing. So, so the, does it hang on to that value? It hangs on to that value and, and as I progress forward. And then when I get to the multi ball, if I were to start multi ball right now, my jackpots would start at 5 million. Oh, wow. okay. Right? So you could really go to town raising this before, as you're progressing. I try to pick off a bunch of white shots. Um, what's nice, I like my machine, when it launches out of here, it usually hits that white. Uh, that, me, that me too. Yeah, I, so I get I most, did, it's I almost like you get a free one. Yeah, right. I slid this into place last time. Yeah, so yeah. So let's see if it does it on yours. With special cap. You're going to break it, James. Yes, I know, but that's an underwater camera. It takes eight pictures in rapid succession by pressing that. Button. Yeah, oh, yeah, see, there's... so I got a freebie. I love that. Right? <laughs> yeah, I do too. So you could so you could build this up really, really high before you get the multi ball, but your risk is if you run out of time before you make the five shots, you don't get the multi ball. You still get qualified you still get the credit for playing the mode to advance you farther. But you, you could really go to town on this, especially if you bring in a playfield multiplier. So Right now, Domino's blinking. That means she's ready to collect. She's ready to collect. Her. Right, and I, don't, I do not have her yet. So if I were to drain, she would still be blinking on my next ball. If I were to shoot the thing, I will collect her. And then I'll have the play field multiply ready. But then also when I drain, I lose her, whether I, I used it or not. I found it's easier for me when I, you know, the ball falls in here a lot. You know, if the ball's all wild. Yeah. But when I'm trying to aim for it, I find that for whatever reason, I have an easier time doing it off of a combo off the right ramp. So, like, when I play this mode, I always try to just shoot. When I want to get in here, I'll just do right ramp and then feed are it in here. Are you getting more time on your timer from anything? You are not. Okay. But I will get to the when, I will get to the component that's not in the game yet in a little bit that will add time. Oh, killer. Because I think for... For me, I think that's one of the reasons why I go explicitly for progress. Yeah, because you're running out of time. I'm scared of yeah. running out of time. So eventually, in, in one of the future updates, it will not be the next one, but it will be sometime soon. Um, we want to get to your wizard modes first. Um, you're going to get... Um, 
you're gonna get perks for finish for completing the Spectre oh, weapons. Oh, cool! All right, right? Perks. And one of the perks is gonna be more time added to all running timers, except ball savers, because a separate perk is gonna be longer ball savers. Cool. There's gonna be a perk for an add a ball uh, on the button. You know, that'll oh, be yeah. one that you earn. Yep. And a couple more that I'm still working oh, out. The with. action buttons. Yeah. Stuff. I love it. Yeah. So now, if you see, now I'm in the multi ball. My jackpots are 22 million five, and that's the base of my jackpot yeah. because I did a bunch of work to yep. make them worth that, right? That's killer. And then, you know, these these Q branches all have a finite amount of Double shots. Jackpot 45. Yeah. So it's worth the, the risk to do the work, yeah. right? To build these things up. It's the, uh, the the dragon target here in the middle. Yeah. Um, what is that doing for you? Okay, so light your outline. The light, yeah, and I think there's an, if I remember correctly, we still have an extra ball attached to it. The extra balls are probably gonna move around when okay. we get closer to the end of this, this development cycle. When we get closer to 1.0, Lonnie and I wanna really map out where the extra balls happen to, so the pacing's correct to help bridge you to getting to to the end you know oh, like yeah. that's key to a great game is the pacing and the, and all games they really calculate the best places to put extra balls that help the player kind of keep them going to the next goal you know again and right now they're kind of all bunched up t very close we're going to spread them spread around them a little bit more yeah. yeah i don't know when we'll do that be you know before the end of course i'm going to end this mode um, so the other three Q branch modes uh, that are that become multi balls yeah. function in that exact same way, but they all have different things to do on how you build up on how you build. Yeah, every, the all four of those single ball to multi ball ones have a building component. Okay. Well, you know the one, this one where you hit the drop target. It's the, it's the green one, you know. Uh, you hit the drop target, then it lights this. You could keep hitting drops as long, and every time you do, it's adding to that jackpot value, sure. which is also the next shot value of the single ball oh, component. Killer. So you, it's really in your best interest to like nail those things a bunch of times before you even make the first shot. So each shot is is, is way more valuable. You know? Mike, you keep talking. I got to use the restroom. Okay. Before. I will show you. Um, I will show you guys. I'll go to. I'll play a henchman mode. See which one's gonna come up, Professor Dent. Okay, this one we might revisit and tweak a little bit. But right now, in Professor Dent, you have a roving shot, and you can pick off the roving shot, which is the simplest thing to do, but it's also the most time-consuming. Or if you hit the tank target, it freezes a shot, and then the other one keeps moving. So now I've got two shots available, right? You could freeze all the shots on the play field. Every, by hitting this tank target multiple times. And now you'll see a bunch of them flashing slowly, but one blinking fast. Now, because they're frozen, they're worth more than the moving shot is. But if I shoot the blinking one, it's worth even more. So the idea is, if I pick them off in the order that I froze them, I'll get the most points. And, the, and you don't need to remember it, just watch for the, flash, the faster flashing shot. That's the oldest one you hit, right? So here. So that was worth five million. The next one is the right orbit that I did. Oh, I got jetpack, so that's gonna stomp on this where I won't be able to see. Let me end my jetpack as soon as the ball saver ends. I'm gonna run out of time on Professor Dead. Anyway, um, so Professor Dent, freeze as many shots as you can, and then try to pick them off in the order that you froze them, and just just aim for the faster blinking shot every time, and you'll come out of that with way more points. Nice shot. All right, so Dent just ended. Let me start, uh, what do we got on Grant? All right, we'll do Grant next. So for anyone that says they may be having uh, trouble keeping track of all the rules and stuff, the, the reason we're doing this is so that you can go back and reference all this stuff. Yeah. And what's great is the community usually also likes to write this stuff up, but we're going to chronicle all this stuff as well. So how Red Grant works, you've got the flashing shot on the right orbit, and when you make it, it lights another shot for it lights a bunch of shots that are natural combos and if you pick and if you don't hit the combo before it times out the right orbit is always lit to advance but the idea being for the bigger points in this one shoot the right orbit then pick off the combo shot right 
What you could also do is if you make the right, the side loop as an orbit as a combo, yeah. that will stay lit, and you could actually just cut, get all through the day. whole mode all day, and that, that's the maximum amount of points. If you don't do that, you get a what? You get a your, your cap is a two-way combo, so you do right orbit, and some, something, something. Yeah. and if you miss it, the right orbit's always lit, okay. to, and the right orbit's also part of the combo. So the simple way, you just make the X number of shots to get through, right? It's like eight shots or something. But if you do the combos, you get, you'll get you come out of this with way more points. I actually, my best was I shot that thing, and then I did four loops. Four in a row? Four Ooh. loops in a row, so I blasted through most of the mode in one combo. Oh, and it felt really good. No doubt. Um, and so if you've got Bond women lit at this, you know, to pick up, that's a good way to, like, to, it's a good incentive Wait, to try they're not, to... they're not blinking anymore. Now, now they're all... Now if I were to get this, I would get uh, two, three, four, five... Two, three, four X. Four X. Right, so... Yep. Um, all right, so I will do... Let's see if the next henchman I got lit is... Odd job doesn't really have uh, odd job's component. I believe if I remember correctly. It's been a little while. He was one of the earlier ones. I guess. This might be one of the ones we're gonna revisit. Yeah, odd job. Right now, you just have to make the shots. But we're gonna do. We're gonna add something in the future to yo know, a component of if you do something, you'll get more points. Sure. You know, like what you either shoot a blinking shot or whatever, or you have to pick them off in a certain order. Odd job's pretty e is an easier one. I think he's only five, four or five shots. Oops. Is there a hat avoiding wizard mode coming? Or video mode, I should say. Um, Are there any video modes in this game? No video modes will be in this game. <laughs> I've not I have not really been a fan of the video modes. Yeah. Since the early 90s. Like Fishtail is probably my favorite video it's mode the ever. Best video mode ever made. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> And uh, I mean, there were some good ones. The Star Trek Next Gen one was fun, but you know, as the '90s progressed, like they got less and less interesting, and then it just became like, right. eh. Yeah. You know, it's like. So I've never been much of a fan of video mode. So you know, there weren't, weren't, we have no plans to do a video Star mode. The video mode on Johnny Mnemonic. That is my least favorite one of all. It does like four <laughs> buttons trying to control yeah, right. something, trying to mimic a joystick. To yeah. me, it just doesn't really yeah. work. You know. Um, I'll do Fiona next. All right. All right, Fiona is another one I believe that if I remember correctly. Again, it's, I mean, you want to do them as combos, right? So you follow the blinking pattern of the shots, and if you do it all as a combo, it's worth, it'll be worth more points. And the thing is, the, the shots are laid out where you could actually do the entire mode in one combo. Oh yeah. wow, that's great. Yeah. Oh, you're on fire. Yeah. So. Wait, what's that fire effect? Oh, that's for the Oh, it's mode. because it's for okay. the mod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, don't do that to your motorcycle. <laughs> Wait, is that James Bond? The new effects are cool? Heck yeah. Alright, DB5Q. Well, I may as well start that one next. All right, this, so see, this is the code update that came out last night. So this one, the spinner, which also will advance, right? Mm -hmm. The spinner is what builds on the in this mode on DB5, right? And that's an opto spinner, which yeah. is really fun to rip. Juicy. But every other shot is also lit on that orbit to advance you. So you could do the orbit, then you want to shoot the DB5, orbit DB5. But even when the thing's not lit, if you got time, shoot the geo, shoot that spinner as much as you can. Yep. And again, it's laid out in a combo, so the fastest way through it is like do left, left orbit, orbit DB5, right. yep. you know, alternate back and forth, and every other one you're going to rip that spinner. But take some time and concentrate on that spinner. Yep. Because I mean, again, just like the other mode we showed you, money. you could you could get big money exactly. And I, and right now I've got you know. I could start the multi ball with a 4x play field and I yeah. could really go to town. Nice 
300 million ball one, you must be amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is one of my better games in it. You are witnessing yep. some, a fine performance of me and my pinball prowess. Huh? Now you know the yeah. secret. Yeah. All right, I'm going to drain this just to end the mode quicker. And so this stage. No, I lost that because I you, because I drained and I had the, I'll see the one that was blinking I did not lose got it. the ones that I had solid I did lose I again the risk and reward the, so you know the more advanced players will probably get into the mindset of you know what, I'm gonna light up a bunch of, bunch of my playfield multipliers at the start of the ball yeah especially while you got ball saver by the way you could qualify those bond women during multi balls oh, so um, dang. okay like that never shuts off yeah. unless you have a playfield multiplier actively running. In which so, case, you can't make any progress on the bond one. Correct. Yeah, you're locked into yep. what you chose, right? And then you can't progress them until that multiplier is done running. Rock and roll. So another benefit of these Q branch modes is, you know, while you're playing that multi-ball, you're getting, you know, when you're hitting all the, the different play field features, you're building up those bond women if, you're not, if you don't have one running, right? So it's a good way to get, to get those things stacked up and ready to go. There's so many avenue, like areas of the game, like there's no one thing like this is how you blow up the game. Mm -hmm. Even currently, like, with, with the way we balance the scores, it's like you could bring that multiplier into just about anything, and if you play it right, you're going to come out of there with this, tons of points. This is a good point, and I don't know if this is a thing that's in there or not, um, but are you going to add text to mode intros to describe building in progress? I would like to. I have to consult with Lonnie on that Got for it. sure because he is the visual master. Got it. But we do, I agree that there needs to be some some, some explanation and that will, you know, all that stuff kind of we come we, that stuff would kind of tend to come in at the end yeah we've been really working hard to be as diligent as we can about getting you your, the missing content yeah first and then we're going to go back and polish up and clean up all the stuff once we get the most of the stuff and we're you know we're getting we're heading towards that you yeah. know we've got three three uh three mini wizard modes left to do and the final wizard mode plus like we're still going to do something for this u-turn thing yeah, dude, I'm waiting and, and the specter <laughs> weapon perks and then yeah. the ellie and the premium are going to get swipe a ball like we had in stranger yeah. things and so there and there's you know there's a bunch of cool stuff still yet to come um on top of just the main missing mode Killer. you know um you guys got any questions before i show you another before i show you another mode Uh, I, I do want to say uh, thank you all for the support. Um, I love you. Uh, question. So, uh, I am blank. Okay. No, I, I can't. Uh, delivered versus is a 70% done. I can't really give you a percent. I mean, you know, four miss it, four wizard modes are missing plus a, a bunch of polish and some, and some, you know, smaller stuff. I don't know how I tack a percent on that, you yeah, know, right. but, um, it were at least seven. We're, we're over 70%. I'd say at this point, you know, I'd say we're, oh, I'd yeah. say we're, be, I'd say yeah. we're more like 90. Yeah. You're, you're, you know, the, right? I think you're in the 90s. Yeah. I think we're about 90% done. You know, when I, when, if you write it all out on paper, um, We've always planned from day one it to have all these things, you yeah. know. It just it was just a longer road to get there than we would have expected. Are there gonna be clips of the Bond women? I don't know. That I don't know the answer to okay. yet. Um, that's T B D. RGR, I believe you meant to say slingshots, but I might have to start calling them what you called them from now. What did you call them? Uh, they swapped out the I for O in sling. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's bane. Yeah, but sometimes, that's you, but sometimes you <laughs> that's that sometimes you feel that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel that pain. Yeah, right. Trust me. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'll start another. Uh, Are there going to be crossover achievements uh, with the 60th? We George said we were going to do something with the crossover, whether it ends up being an achievement or a quest of some sort. Sure. is TBD, but that isn't. That is something that we had talked about publicly. Yeah. That so cool. there's something still in the works. We're still kind of ironing that out. It won't be very soon, but it will be, you know, it will happen yeah. at some point. It's on yeah. the whiteboard. It is. It's on the whiteboard for sure. Is there a uh, what star bonds Jane Bond mode? Okay. When you play one, when you play one villain mode, one henchman mode, bird one multiball and jetpack multiball, mm -hmm. that's how you qualify Bond James Bond. Um, and that's the timed multiball. It's, uh, I believe, 70 seconds, and you have to make all the shots, and then there's a, j a super jackpot at the end. It, the mode ends either when the time runs out or you finish all the shots before the time runs out. Um, 
The modes will not stack, but you can bring a multi. You can stack any mode with a multi ball. Oh, with, really? You can st any mode that's in the game currently, villain or henchman, um, or a, the Q branch that become the single ball Q branches can be stacked. Yeah. The the two parters that become multi balls cannot be cannot stacked be with anything. Got it. Um, Otherwise, you have a multi bond and multi bond would be a big mess. You cannot stack a villain in a henchman mode, and you won't be able to. You have to play one at a time. If I go into Bond, James Bond. Yes. Can I activate my playfield multiplier in that? Oh, mode? yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just get to poop all yep. the points over. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Any other questions in there? Uh, no, just hooray for new code. How many okay. remaining wizard modes set to be qualified? There's three more outside of what they just put in. Yeah, outside of what we released yesterday, there's three more coming. Um, and then there, and then after that, I'm sorry. There's yeah, three more coming. Yep. Plus, then there'll be the ver the final one, Her Majesty's so Secret Service. Essentially four more. Essentially four more wizard modes. Yep. The the three more that aren't the final are movie themed, right? Okay, cool. So this one, you know, the first one, you know, the Doctor No, Rosa Club. I think we did it off the first four of the six movies. We picked the of the we had four sections, right? So Lonnie picked the four that he felt was the most compelling to do wizard modes off of. Will the multiplier X stay displayed so you know where you're at? Yes, I believe it shows it on the screen. Here, let me, I'll show you. So now if I have- Two X is ready. Wait for this display, it's back to finish. Yep, so it says two X up in the right and that's timer. Right here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh yeah, I'm pointing at the screen like they can see where I'm good. pointing. <laughs> I can make it all big, big and sexy. Yeah. If you're not in a mode, like or a multi ball or something that has you know music, it's just like if you're in main play, you're gonna get this diamonds are forever song. Yeah. If you're in like Bond James Bond, it's not gonna stomp on it with the song. You're gonna it's gonna play the you know the the mode songs take a higher priority, yeah, right? Awesome. Um, so another thing I want to show you guys that not everybody might be aware of is the Bird One multi ball rules because it's deeper than you think. And it's actually been this way the whole time. Just evolved in ding dong. <laughs> Come on, guys. No, no, we we didn't really explain it very well, sure. you know. And so that's one of the reasons why we're doing this. Is so I can explain these rules better. And eventually, when we get this game to 1.0, the Stern website is going to have a detailed rules document that you could view on the on our website, just like our most of our current games do. Um, that's one of my tasks for once we get this thing done. Writing up the whole uh, is writing up the whole yep. detailed rule sheet for everybody to be able to reference at any time. Yeah, this, they, will, this will be available on YouTube once we're done. Yeah, the Insider Connected site right now has like kind of a, a little bit more advanced version of what the rule card would have. Okay. But the one that's going to go on the normal Stern site is going to be like the, the ultra detail like we've done on, all, on your game and all Love of our it. current games, right? All right, so when Bird 1 starts, a bunch of green shots are lit for jackpots, but what you may notice is the side loop and the side ramp are temporarily lit. It's about t 7 to 10 seconds. Um, and there, those two are flashing. You have to make any combination of those uh, for a total of three shots before they time out. And if you do, it, light, it, it qualifies you have a, a multi-ball extend. Ooh. So you know how in Elvira, you, like you had the multi-ball extend, so if you were playing in a multi-ball and then you drained, yeah. it basically restarts your multi-ball. Yep. So we, we did that same extend off the making three shots. So George told me that like day one, and I, I focus on that a lot, yeah. but I, I didn't see any, like it referenced anywhere. It's, I think it's, it says it on the screen when you qualify it, but it's brief. You okay, know? Okay. But let's start it, yep. and then I'll, then I'll explain how the jackpot and super jackpot rule work, because again, a layer of depth in there that's not ready apparent yeah so but if you if you take the time to play it differently you can get a lot more points Killing. let's get into it you know what's depressing is like missing a shot when you're throwing the ball by hand oh I do it all the time you know what's the worst is when you miss the shot and then it drains yeah right you're like, this okay so you see these are blinking these are blinking right I need to make three of them so I'm do it fast. and that could be the it could be that right the side loop or the side ramp. Okay. You just have to make a total of three, and you can do any combination of those shots to make three, and then so they go out. Something that would be cool yeah. is a, a way on screen to identify that you did that. Because like sometimes I I don't know if I did it or if I did. Um, it, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll add some text to that. Yeah. Um, we have we 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 definitely need to. Uh, 
to convey that better. And uh, and that's something we will add. It's on our list of that's going to happen in the cleanup stuff near the end. Yeah, totally. Um, so now all the jackpots are lit for single jackpots. Yep. Okay. And the drop targets, um, well, they're a combination of up or down. But when I make enough jackpots, it will light super jackpot on the rocket. Yeah. Which it might be lit now, right? Yeah, it's roving. Yeah. So super jackpots lit on the rocket. You can cash out that super jackpot, and then it'll relight all the jackpots at 1x jackpots, okay. right? Yeah. Or you could pick up, ignore the rocket. The drop targets actually come up to help you ignore the rocket when the super is lit to give you a chance to go for more points. And help, the, help you to play the, to help you ignore it <laughs> yeah, like, to play the longer game. Like you're, you're twisting that to make it sound supportive. Yeah, no, yeah, no actually, we, like it, I just I came up with that concept yeah. on purpose because I didn't want you to accidentally hit it. So you got one chance. Oh, smart. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So smart. you got to do a little bit more work to get super, but it's really helping you because if I finish picking off these single jackpots, it's going to relight them all again as yeah. double jackpots. Okay. Oh, oh, killer. And just so you know, all these jackpots go into the pool to make your super jackpot oh, value, nice. right? Awesome. So there's a there's a wave of 2x jackpots and a wave of 3x jackpots. Ooh. So what you really want to do is go through all the jackpots and save the super to the end, and then you'll get the maximum triple super jackpot. You know, couple that with your playfield multiplier. Again, you're going to you're you're going to walk out of there with a ton of points. Again. So um, let's, let's pick up the rest of these jackpots, and I'll show you. So these jackpots started a million, so right now, like, you know, you get five jackpots, I hit a super, it's only a five million super. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if I pick off, like, you know. If the mic is peaking a little bit, I'll just move it away from you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I talk kind of loud because. <laughs> no, talk loud. Yeah, it's the just, glass is yeah. off. So now my jackpots are double jackpots, right? And, it, now, and again, it's just constantly building up the value of the super. So you see how bad I am at throwing the ball over my hand? Get it, Mike. All right, so now I've gone through all the doubles, and now I've got these are all triple jackpots. I should have logged in. I could have got the. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of BS. Yeah, right. But there is an achievement for getting the maximum. It's called maximum bird. You get the maximum super jackpot. It's an achievement. All right, so once you get through all three waves of jackpots, there's nothing left to do besides get the super. Now that super is the maximum. So I hit the draft target to clear it down. Bam. Punch now I got a 57 million Ooh. super. You know, now imagine that with a 7x playfield yeah. multiplier, oh, or even gross. a 2 or a 3, right? Yeah, right. So you get a lot of points in there. You got to do the work, but for the for the more advanced players that want to take the time, there's there is good points to farm out of that mode. What's up, Jakku? So you see, because I got the extend when right. I drain down, it, now it's because we have ball saver. I love that it, so much. Because it gives you something immediate to want to do when you start the multi ball. Yeah. Because of the direct feed to that flipper to shoot those shots. Yeah. So when when we were designing that that multi ball, you know, the balls we all developed on the LEs, right? Right. So, um, so we're starting the multi ball, and the balls are being fed to me one at a time. I'm like, man, I want to do something off the side. It's mm -hmm. like a natural, like, I want to do something like, and like it's three right balls, I want to do a one, two, three. It's time. So that yeah. was like the first idea I had, even before, like, we came up with the actual jackpot rules. Like, the extend was the first thing that I thought of uh, for wanting to put into that, into that mode. Uh, By the way, Internet, does the microphone sound better? Mike, you don't have to change anything you're doing. Okay. I just, uh, I, I moved the mic a little bit and uh, dropped the the gain a little bit. We should be good. It's good? Hell yeah. Um, Dude, covers, Mike with half a billion ball yeah, one. That what covers, a G. That covers most of it. I mean, I could step through every single mode if you want, but I don't know if, we wanna, if you want to do them all. Like, I think it's totally it's up to you, my dude. It's up, it's up to you. Let me see if there's another one where... Uh, I, this one. I think this one had another component that was... Uh, Blofeld. Blofeld. Mike in the microphone. Got it. <laughs> Only one person knows this sort of I can't remember if it's in here or not. The idea being like... The original, my, the original idea was if you did the drop targets from left to right, they were going to be worth more. Oh. And I'm not sure if that's actually in here. 
bigger, bigger, bigger. Oh, she's dead. Yeah. Man, I I feel like there there would have been plenty of time to like get not, out. Yeah. <laughs> so now I've got Bond, James Bond. Okay. Right? Oh yeah. So With Moby. Either, either one of these blue shots start that, and it's uh, I think most people have played it at this point. Bond, James Bond. Is this how Mike gets high scores, guys? Yeah. He's exposing himself. <laughs> oh man, the truth is out there. I hope Gary doesn't fire yeah, me right. now. He thought I was all good. <laughs> Um, one thing you may not know, be aware of a Bond James Bond, the side loop is lit white. Okay. And the reason why, it's, it's like your helper shot. When you make that side loop, it spots one of your jackpots for you. Is it right. lit so you can just hit it over and over and over? Yes. Ah. So you want to be like a superstar? Like, Dirty. you know, I, I'd say like the Keith Elwins and the Raymond Davidsons yeah. and whatnots, um, they could probably, you know, get half the motor more done if they get on a roll of just doing that loop over and over again, right? Killer. So anyway, you have to make each shot uh, two times. And then it, when you do get them all dried up, then it lights the super on the side ramp. Right Killer. And, uh, yeah, it, you know, and the, yeah, the key is, like, if you, can, if you can repeat that loop a bunch of times, you can really go to town. I'm just going to let it time out. What advances the playfield multipliers? Uh, it, that's the Bond women, which are all collected by doing various achievements around the playfield. Yeah, so the spinners advance one, will we'll light one. The pop bumpers, the rocket, the left eject, the DB5, and the right orbit. Those oh, are the ones the Bond women are. That on the top yeah, the and that's also the same way you're going to light Q modes, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa, what's... That was a fun noise. Oh, oh he's ready for the ball. If there was... Internet, any, any more questions? Yeah, who's got them questions? So this is code 0 .93. 0 .93, yep. Okay. 0 .93, getting closer to 1.0. We I are. Love it. That's incredible. Did you go over jackpot multi-mode? Jetpack. Jetpack. Um, no, I, we didn't go to that, but I, let's do that one now because right. it, it has like the differences. It's got the differences, yeah, yeah because we're it. doing on a premium. Killer. Um, the premium's got some really fun stuff. Yeah. Because they uses the jetpack. Let's, so, do, yeah, it. let's do that. Good call. I'll wait for version 1.007. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. You know what? That would be awesome if, but our our releases always end in zero. <laughs> yeah, but right. man, I wish we could break that rule just for this one that game. Would be, that would be incredible. I don't know if you all noticed, but there is a lot of things in like timers and stuff that use the number seven. Yeah, right? No doubt. I, anytime I could make it make sense, I use. Uh, that was, <laughs> Lonnie and I did that. Okay, so when jetpack starts, if there's a hurry up running, you need to hit the center leg to drop the ball, and then it's a two ball multi ball. Every jackpot's lit on the first wave, yep. and they do not dry up. And you need to make five in order to light the first super jackpot. All right, let's make them. So, uh, let's make five shots. Mike, you're so good. I, 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 you know what? I didn't really get enough sleep today. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't be so on my game today, but man, I, I can't miss. Yeah, this is incredible. All right, so now that I made the five shots, you'll see they all went out, and then the, the left orbit is strobing, and it wants me to load a ball. Let me wait for the ball starts, dude. Okay, so now the jetpack is controlled by the game, and I need to hit the tank target and time it when the ball is above it so it'll land on the target on the top of the tank. Boom. Right there, right? So then I get a super jackpot, and then it will add a ball into play. So now I've got a three ball multi ball. Now when I make the jackpots, I have to make seven of them. See okay. what I did there? Yep. Yeah, so seven. So, got it. Cute. So you make seven jackpots, and they dry up, so it's harder, right? The next iteration of this is my favorite. Yeah, mine too. And this one was like, this was George's concept. And he like, I want to, I want to do something where you control the jetpack. You know. So, um, so now I did the seven jackpots. The the uh, the super is lit again. I got a motor ball up top. Now, once once he picks it up, I control him. 
And now, remember, I'm going to have these other two balls not yep. in my hand because I'm a dirty cheater. So the, left, <laughs> the left and right flippers move him yep. left and right, but you're also trying to control the ball at the same time. Right. So you so, got to plan ahead of time. So you got to plan ahead of time. So basically, when you flip, when you flip, let it off. You want it to land, you want to time it so it'll move with that flip, and then you, you, your shot hits the tank, right? So, bing. So and, then, and then from there, it, it alternates between the game control jetpack and the human control jetpack. Okay. Cool. Rinse and repeat until yeah. you end the multi ball. Oh, it doesn't go to the third one where the right flipper makes a move left and the left flipper makes a move right? It's no, just, no, no. <laughs> to be hyper But. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, damn. Hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, maybe if they all, I might have to talk to the other two uh -huh. guys on this, probably all the other two designers uh -huh. on this. Maybe the three of us. Yeah, I don't know. That could be fun. But Internet, isn't it, 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 isn't it wild how uh, much glass dampens the mechanical noise of a pinball machine? It really machine? makes a massive it difference. Like, it like my sounds ears like are someone's ringing. like making freaking horseshoes. Yeah. Me. Does Stern Connect allow you to see our individual game performance? Yes. Um, yes. Wait, there was one question up here. It says, hello, I'm new to the modern certain pinball machines. What are the design rules restrictions which different tables between the... Oh, that's like asking what the difference between cars is. Well, the, we could break it down on a real simple level. Sure. We have, we have the three models, the Pro, the Premium, and the LE. Yeah. The difference between the Pro and the Premium, the Premiums will not only... They cost more because they have more physical differences on the play field. So, for example, on oh, this... the additions of the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. I read that wrong. I thought you meant, like, what? what's the difference between James Bond and uh, no, no, the Foo difference Fighters. is between the three tiers, right? <laughs> so this is we're looking, we're playing on a premium one. So what the premium has that the pro doesn't is there's a ball locking mechanism here on the rocket, right? And it holds it locks three balls. It's got the jetpack toy that you know picks up the ball and moves it. It's got uh, underwater 3D sculpted guys with uh, flashers on here. It lights up when you go into that scoop. And there is. I thought there was one other thing. Is the DB5 still? The DB5 is on both. Yeah. Yeah, and the rocket's on both. Um, so those are the major differences there. Um, I think we have an extra flasher, too. Huh. Um, I think that was it. Does Stern do anything with all that score data? Yeah, we make we print it out on T-shirts. Yeah. And we just wear them around the studio. <laughs> um, the differences between the premium and the LE are largely cosmetic. The yeah. play fields are, and the code is identical, but the pre, the LEs add like you get a custom mirrored back glass that you can only get on the yep. LE. We will never sell you one. Yep. Um, it's got a sign and numbered thing. It's got custom armor. It's got custom art blades. Mm -hmm. it's we, got have a, we have a pro and an LE sitting side by side here of oh, yeah, uh, Foo yeah. Fighters. It's got the Invisiglass. It's got the yeah. It's got the uh, upgraded speaker panel. Upgraded speaker panel. Upgraded speakers. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a whole lot of. It's a lot. Does of it stuff. come with the shaker? I can't remember. I think so. I think it does. Yeah. Oh, put up your Foo Fighters. Well, this, oh, wait, that's, this that, one that was a prototype. This one doesn't. Care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one doesn't. Care. I think it came with the shaker motor too. Don't quote me because yeah. I don't have any LE games. Yeah. So uh, I just Same. have premiums at home. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, hey, when LE I work owners, did your LE come with a shaker motor? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. <laughs> okay. Um, Spectre Point weapon bird. bonus for Bird One multi ball. Oh, the when you hit Spectre targets throughout the game, it's it adds to the base jackpot value. Of bird one. Got it. And yeah. if it's not doing that currently, let me know because then it's a bug. Yes, yeah, so Ellie has a shaker. Yeah, okay, thank you. I was pretty sure, but y'all, you know, I remember, I think there was a time like when I first started that they might not have had it. Sure. That was like over six years ago now. Um, Every week, Stern picks a player with bad stats to make fun. Come on. No, guys, no, we would never do something like that. Like, no. we encourage, you know, pinball's for everybody of yeah. all skill levels. No, and I, the, I, all I, that I matters do. is that you have fun, yeah. and we encourage people to play and yeah. learn and become better, yeah. right? So, and that, what's nice about the Insider is like tracking your own progress of like, hey, I love being, just, I can look now at a, mo, at, a, at a couple of clicks to see what my high score yep. on every Stern game is since I've been playing them. I on, love it. Because I, I can't remember them off the top of my head. And I don't want to just keep pictures on my phone. I'll lose them <laughs> after years, you know? Um, I mean, yeah, mine just get lost with all the pictures I've taken myself in the, in the bathroom and stuff. No, we don't have any instant multi-ball modes, but Jetpack multi-ball is, is only two shots away from the start button. You go into the left, the left eject, and then you make the left orbit, and you're in Jetpack multi-ball. Do you have any, uh, I guess I didn't check, um, like challenge mode stuff, like in the menu in Not Trek yet, mode? but it's coming. Okay, cool. There will be a challenge mode in this game Got for it. sure. Got it. How many skill shots are there? Uh, oh, there's like ten, I believe. I, there's eight somewhere. There's at least eight, and there's still like, there's still one or two that aren't in yet. Yeah. 
And uh, you will be getting the opportunity when a ball is locked and served in the plunger lane, in the shooter lane, to you will in the future be able to do skill shots. Like on the premium MLE when I lock balls, yeah. eventually we're gonna give you the ability to, to now when I can serve the next ball, I can do a skill shot. At the end of James Bond, James Bond, you'll be able to do a skill shot. It won't be in the next update, but it will begin. We'll hit that, coming down uh, the road. it's coming down the road. Um, so when you get your Bird 1 extension, yes. after draining, uh, you still get all the progress that you've made in Bird 1, right? Like it's a, it's as if yeah, nothing it does, happened. Yeah, it's as if nothing happened. Okay, yep. cool. Yeah, it doesn't put you back yep. in square one. So yep. if you were almost at that triple super, yep. you'll still You're be still almost at it. that You're triple still super. Yeah, it. love it. Um, like I said, the Spectre weapon perks are coming in the, in the near future. Mm -hmm. um, Probably after we get the the remaining wizard modes in. Uh, I think you covered everything. Yeah. So again, uh, the progress to the final wizard mode that's not in yet. You just have to play everything. You don't have to finish everything. And when you when you finish when you've done the five things in a movie, then the movie inserts will be let solid. Okay, killer. Um, I think. I've yeah, and that, that I guess there. that's something important that we want to reiterate. You're not having to finish that stuff to get to the the wizard it's uh just playing it just being in it How, that's a good question how does jetpack work work on the pro um so the the behavior is the same when you start it and the jackpots work the same but the super jackpot is is just one one round of you know it's the same round over and over yeah. and it's a roving light to simulate the roving jetpack got it right oh, that's so cool. yeah. so there's not a roving light that you control it's just it roves on its own and you have to pick off the roving light for the super on the pro oh yeah yeah, holy heck, this game's coming along great, man. I would love to hear Neil McRae sing Thunderball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Neil, uh, just call me right now and we'll play it for everybody. Yeah, that All would right? be awesome. <laughs> you probably won't even get the takedown <laughs> notice, right? Yeah. It, like, I don't know, he might be that good. If he's that good, then the, 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 the AI might flag it. He you might know? be that good. Um, <laughs> let me see, I can't remember if Mr. Henderson had it. Extra like, ball, ball is it? Extra ball is it? All right, so uh, the Mr. Henderson mode, see you get three shots, but one's flashing. Yeah. Try to always shoot the flashing one, more points. More points. Yeah. Smart. So see, that one was five million, right? Oh, and, and see, then it, it moves. moves. Oh, killer. Um, there was another Q one, I want, there was another Q branch I wanted to show off because there's a really cool component of like, you do single, double, triple, but if you have to do it in a specific order. Okay. And then, so let me, let me light up. Let's get it. Get that money. And again, some of the, if you study the, some of the achievements, and we released a bunch of achievements in the last couple of updates, um, some of the more skillful things are achievements as well. Like, oh, cool. Like the one I want to show you for the Q branch. And I think it, uh, no, it's not DB5. Right. It was, uh, it might be this one. Oh, double, that triple. Tache. It might be this one or it's the... Uh, so this is the right orbit. I'm not, I don't think this is the one. Let's see what this one does. Oldenry. Orden, ordinary is uh, uh, British for ordinary, ladies and gentlemen. I've been, I've been studying. Old ring. Sean Bond is the best Bond. I think my favorite Bond was uh, Mike Myers. Propulsion. Attaché. Hunted by helicopter. All right, no, it was not this one, but this, but I'll teach you the component of this one. Um, okay, so for hunted by helicopter multi-ball, you got all these red shots, but there's a white one. The white ones are double. Okay. Right? The pop bumpers move the white one. Oh. So you want to you want to try to go for the white ones because they're they're triple jackpots, but that starts as a triple. Yeah, they're triple. The uh, other ones are single jackpots, right? So if I do this one, 
it's only a single jackpot, right? And then the second time you have to do it's a double. But you could do this whole thing with if you just play the white like just, and there's also an achievement for that. If you oh. play this whole mode by making only the white shots in the multi bow, not only do you get the maximum score, but you'll get the achievement. Dang. Um, our games are programmed in C++. That is correct. Uh, it's all punch cards. You've never seen the helicopter mode before? This is uh, the attache um, cube branch mode. Um, which cube branches am I missing? The spinner one. That's that's the single ball one. The pop bumpers was a single ball one. The right orbit one we just did. It must be, did we do the DB5 one already? You did DB5 already. It's the left one. Though. Is it underwater power pack? You did the underwater one, I thought. Underwater power pack, I just did the right orbit one, right? Oh, wait, which one is the, the goofy freaking Bathos sub? Bathos sub's uh, one of the hurry ups. I thought Bathos sub was the key range. Propulsion power points! Bum, bum, bum. There we go. <laughs> Why? Hit that rock. <laughs> oh, okay, we got it. Okay, the little Nelly, the building shot, right, for the jackpots is the drop targets. So you have to make the right, you have to do right ramp, drop target, and alternate. Okay. To get, to get through the mode. Yeah. But the drop targets are constantly lit, so I can bash away drop targets. Oh, just all day. All day. To build it up. To build up the jackpots, right? So, you know, you can get ah. in a good rhythm of just trying to blast through it of, like, ramp, drop target, ramp, drop target. Yep. Spend some time and bash away those drop targets, especially if you're only one shot it, away. Is it one drop that builds a value or not every all three drop? Down? Oh, right, and they keep they go right back up when you hit them, but every single drop target you hit will build it. Holy heck! So it goes up by 500k every drop target. Big money. And then also again, that jackpot value is also the shift to your next shot on the single bomb. Bam. So see so like on that. 11.5, so that next shot, which advances me, 11.5. So these Q branches are like, they're, they're tons of points. Little Nelly Multi Ball! Oh man, I want to. Alright, so this one. Helicopter. This one has, uh, it's rolling shots. Oh geez, okay. So you have the, the, the jackpots roll. In the Q branch modes, are you locked out of Bond Girl progress? No, you can, you can, as long, the only time you're ever locked out of the Bond Women progress is if you're currently and running a playfield multiplier. Got it, cool. You could advance them at any time throughout the game. Killer. So all these Q branch multiballs, when you're playing them, you're also, if you're hitting the right things, you're advancing towards lighting the Bond Women. Love it. Bond Women. 1740 North Costner. All right, I think that pretty much yeah. yeah, I think you did all the things. Yeah, the ball save, the slingshots move your ball, outline ball mm -hmm. center, every slingshot. And you got that by hitting the tank target. The tank target likes that, yeah. yeah. Uh, MXV made that band woman trans. Wait, what? What perks are planned for Spectre weapons? Um, a couple of them are, are to be determined, but ones I can tell you what we're gonna do is gonna be a button add a ball. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to do it. Ten it's penciled in once per ball. You'll be able to use it. So when you get that one, you know, in any multi ball, you'll be able to hold down the button. Let me let me interrupt you for just a second. Yeah. Just for like my own like ADHD yeah. and compulsory. I need you to collect this. I need you to collect that <laughs> playfield multiplier, please. I still got one more to go. Yeah. Can you get, you got them all now. I, or you need, no, yeah, I need Tiffany. Tiffany days. Please collect that. Yeah. <laughs> now it's, it's taking more because you had Because I had already, I had collected it before. Yeah. And I'm still on ball one, yep. so yeah. On ball two, it resets to the base the base requirement. I guess that's a decent ball one. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. What am I, probably my best ball one. <laughs> not bad, Mike. Not right. bad. So now, I hit this thing six times. Two, three. Love it. Glass off Mike is the best Mike. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so yeah. now you know what? I'm going to start doing this when I, people challenge me at the pinball shows that they send me to. I'm going to start doing a glass <laughs> off so that way I don't have to give yeah, away right. anything. Oh, yeah, give away nothing. <laughs> so uh, now hitting the button. Now hitting the button. Now I've got the full 7X. It goes for 70 seconds. You see what we did there? Yeah. And then um, and I have a 30 second ball saver during that. Okay. So when you get 7X, you're guaranteed 30 seconds of ball time. Oh, so you're just going to dump yeah. points everywhere. I love it. Hit something. I, I got. I, see, I was foolish. I didn't. I should have. You know, I should have. <laughs> I should have. I should have flipped with my hands better <laughs> to set up like a mode. You yeah. Know? No, this is um, great. This is all great. Seven X. Yeah. So many sevens, Internet. Largo. Largo. Nice, you pause the timer while the yeah. video is Okay, running. so this one, the Disco Vellani one, you've got a flashing shot that's worth way more. Yeah. Blinking is always more money. Yeah. Um, and if you can, well, actually, the blink, I'm sorry, the blinking one advances you, right? The other two shots are lit to light it as a combo, which then doubles it. Got it. So I blew it because I let it time out while I was explaining it. But, um, okay, so every time you make the, the one that advances you, Timers cannot be extended. No, but that's going to be one of the Spectre weapon yep. perks is that it's going to add time yep. to every mode. You know, it. it'll just be a, whatever the base timer is, it'll have a plus whatever. Okay, um, okay so now this, you know, this I want to advance this, but this one will not only advance me, but like this, this the eject for a combo. <laughs> this scoring. Uh, yeah, because we got 7x yeah, running, right? I, I Get 7x and, sh and combo yeah. this mode to advance. Just jumping points. So the, the combo shot one not only advances you a shot towards finishing, but it lights that one up for the special points. 105 million. Yeah, so there so you go. Good. 91 million for one shot is insane. It gets better. Diamonds are forever. 119 million! Finish the mode, you got nine seconds. <laughs> I need to see the points. Okay. Big fan, big fan. So yeah, I got a mere 600 million out of that. <laughs> I mean, you had, to do, you had to do all the right work to do it, you know? Yeah, right. So like, the, the, I mean, it's no small task to get the seven yeah, no doubt. And you risk, you know, you, you have to do it on the, the ball, you know? Time's up, Devin F7. <coughs> Amazing. So yeah, I think we've covered most Mike, of the stuff. Mike, I think you did right? it. Um, yeah, Internet, do you have any other questions on things like maybe you're confused about or um, things you want to know more about while Mike is here? Dun, dun, dun. Think Jack's GC is in danger? Yeah. See what I did there? I, uh, yeah, uh, I might have I beat it. <laughs> I wasn't listening. Can you start so, over? Is so, this, okay. this, tell him, Jack. Yeah, right? <laughs> Heck no. The three lights on the right loop, the three inserts, those three circle inserts on the right they, orbit. They show you the progress towards um, lighting the uh, the Q, the Q band. Oh, sure. Right? Okay. Um, it's less shots to light the, the Bond woman. Um, we might clean that up a little bit so it's a little bit more apparent. Mike was asking if the Spectre targets add to Bird 1 jackpot value. They don't. Okay, I will. that's a bug and we'll fix that because they absolutely are supposed to. All right. Thank you for pointing that yeah, out. Yeah, good call. Afternoon stream, interesting. Yeah, I'm not confined by the rules of normal dead well, streaming. Yeah, anymore. now that Jack is in, in, in retirement, or, <laughs> um, retired. so now when you're retired, you get to call your shots. Yeah. And uh, we I'm just a, we I'm figured like, more, you know, what was our logic? More people would probably slack off at work and yeah, watch us during right. the day because they'll be out on Friday night. Yeah, probably, Friday right? night, you guys should be out partying. Yeah, yeah. Doing doing Friday night stuff. Uh, well, I, I actually vintage shed. I can't answer your next your question. What's my next project? All of them. Oh, because yeah. I, I have a unique role at Stern where I, I in some way uh, touch every game. He so um, them all. yeah, I'm constantly juggling multiple projects. He touches our. So eyes. like for example, while I was helping design rules to this game, I also was doing the uh, expression lights on your Foo Fighters game. Yep. yep. Right. So right. and I did expression lights on all the games that have them. Um, when I work with Dwight, I help whenever he needs. I help him with rules, and I still help him with you know like the you know just the gameplay in general. Mm -hmm. um, 
And it, so it varies from team to team, but I do work on every title, which is very unique in the company. Very few people get to do that. And I'm very glad that I do because it keeps it interesting. I broke my magnet. Uh, Foo Fighters expression lights are the best expression lights so far. Ooh. Oh, thank you for saying Ooh. that. I had a lot of fun working on those um, for all three games. Um, I had never done something like that before until we, they asked me to do it on Led Zeppelin. And uh, I was a concert, I'm a part-time concert photographer, so when they pitched me doing it, they're like, well, you're a concert photographer, you know what it's supposed to look like, so we think you'll be good at it. And they were right, but they had more confidence yeah. in me than I did. I was just very nervous, because <laughs> I didn't want to you know, let the team down. Right. I wanted to... No, th this thing in a dark room, man, yeah. holy frick, it, it feels awesome. so good. So now I really enjoy that that's become part of my gig, part you know? Duties, yeah, it's a lot that. of fun, and I love music so much. I mean, some of you guys that know me in, in person well enough to know like I'm an obsessive music fan and, and a ridiculously obsessive uh, record collector so being able to add like visual elements in one of our games which is not my normal thing um, on a music pin was just a real dream for me well let's throw the glass on and play a couple of okay. games really quick and then we'll uh, we'll make fun of each other internet holy frick it feels good to see you I love you yeah, it feels good to be back here. Yeah, I'm well, glad this, is your first, first, this is your first time here. It's my free, yeah, I, I didn't know. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I'll see you on Friday. I'm like, I don't know where he <laughs> is. I only knew the old one. Here, you lock that up. I'm going to get some okay. glass. This is a nice little place you got here, Jack. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I appreciate that just like one block down, there was plenty of free parking. Ooh, don't talk about anything location specific. No, no, I won't. <laughs> Diner. <laughs> One of a kind diner in Chicago. You can't miss it. Uh, you should have gone like super retro instead of Al's Diner. Al's yeah. Diner. Oh, yeah. 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 Keep it pinball specific. Yeah. All right, we are ready. I don't know Al's Diner from uh, the show Alice. That might be before your time. I am a little older than you. Wait, was that uh, a spinoff of the Brady Bunch? No, no, no. Not, Al Al not Alice the, the maid. Alice the waitress. It was a show from like the late seventies. Definitely before. Yeah. Not too far before my time, but should we let's scan in, Jack? Oh my god. Alright, internet, it's a real battle. Uh, again, this is gonna be up on the internet. Um, if you've made it this far, now we're just gonna swear and uh, make fun of each other. It's Are gonna we be great. To swear? I don't. I try not to. Just I try Listen, to... I'm retired. I Who... can't. I can't help myself <laughs> though. I mean, swearing is my normal talk. Yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But when, I, when I'm reminded, I try to keep it clean for radio. Notifications now that the... Uh, oh, yeah, let me turn notifications on. Bum, 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 bum. Boom, 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 boom. Off. Ah, close. Somebody said they'd like to see more of this for major updates. Thank you for saying that. I would certainly be open to doing this with Jack again if the company would like us to uh, on any title, whether I had as large of a design role on this or not. I'm, you know, I'm usually one of the most familiar people with the game rules because of the role I have. So I'd happily come do this if, if, you know, if it makes sense Hell yeah. to do. Something about midday deadlift stream hits so good. Especially on a Friday, right? I love it. Yeah, so what's interesting, we'll start this off. Um, like, we, in the past, like, when we do this, like, deep dive rule stuff on, like, the first time people see the game, uh, people have, like, their opinions about that. You know, they just want to get into the game. They want to just see, like, the fun stuff about it. I like this because the game's been out for a while, and now we can actually get into the nitty gritty and explain what the heck's going on. I, I think this is I think this is awesome. All right, friends, uh, this is my first time touching a pinball machine in a month, so let's see I, how. I, this wait, goes. let me just uh, let me just put this disclaimer. I don't think I'm going to do as well with the glass on as I did with the glass off. <laughs> That's, fair. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. All right, let's see let's see what we got here. Big money, no whammies. Uh, Why are you kidding? Oh my wow. god, Mike! Oh my you, god! Oh my god! You set the, Mike, oh my god. <laughs> you set the bar low. Oh Thanks. Uh, internet, I swear I did not put him up to trying to make me look good. Now watch, I'll do worse. What the freak just happened? Oh my god. Um, yeah, license oh, gotta, to skill. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> uh, 
internet, listen, I... The, the Dead Flip show, like the nightly show, that's done, but I'm not done streaming. Like, we're still gonna do game reveals. Um, I would still like to do code update streams. Special stuff you exactly, keep it for, Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And more notably, if we could do stuff during the day like this, yeah. this is incredible. I, I mean, I, I'm all for it. It's actually easier for me to I, do these I'm things like, during I'm, the day. I'm double dipping right now. This yeah. is incredible. <laughs> Zach, don't say that in public. I mean, wait. <laughs> I mean, George, if you're watching, just kidding, just kidding. Oh, man. Oh, I still got my ball saver. Um, yeah, don't say that out loud, Jack. <laughs> You'll ruin it for everyone. Yeah, right. Son of a... Oh, no. Yeah, we're keeping this pace. Uh, I'm going to turn it into a, um, a dog washing kennel. Sling, sling, outling. Got it. Yep, play like Jack. Wait, Oops. how... How, why are you getting so many things? Because I always play on, on, on a dev build, so I never get to go for any achievements. Oh my god. Welcome aboard, yo, yeah. Mac Jedi. I did terrible. Love I didn't both of you super. guys so much. Did you guys flip, hear flip, the uh, flip, 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 notification? Flip, flip, deal, flip, deal. Two more for a Q branch. Bit loud. I can fix that. Wow. Yours plays so differently from mine. Your flippers might be slightly different. Yo, like, what's going on? Oh, no, uh, you're four street. years old. My daughter Francis just turned four. Four is a good year. Um, hi, Theo. I'm glad you like pinball. Uh, can't wait to battle you sometime. Eventually, Neil. When are you flying me out? Let's go. I can't find your right ramp. Uh, I can't hit I, I my, there we go. I, yeah, I think you did. I moved it. <laughs> Stop tinkering with this game, Jack. <laughs> Neil, thank you for the biddies, my guy. Boing. High score. We will be revisiting Mystery. There's not much to it right now. There'll be better stuff in there and more appropriate uh, based on, on where you are in the game. That'll, that'll come when we get, you know, past the wizard mode. I made it to Ahoy Bond last night. Really fun mode and definitely a challenge to get there. Wait till, wait till, the wait till you see the next one. The next wizard mode, I think you guys are really going to like that one. That one's called Adios Bond. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's let the spinning newspapers happen here for a minute. Woo! F -F -K -K All right. I just, I'm just gonna take this moment to say hi to my girlfriend Chris because she's watching at home. What up, Chris? Board, oh yeah, you say it. You say yeah. it. <laughs> Distraction sub less than three. DB5. Two more to get the DB5. I'm freaking trash. Internet, I'm doing this on purpose. I'm gonna show you something. Oh, has it, has it really been a month since you played pinball? Yeah. You know what? There, there is truth to that. Like, so I'm around pinball all day, but especially on this one, like, I spend as much time doing design work mm -hmm. as I, as, like, when I was working on your game, I barely ever played it. Yeah. Even though I had it, like, because I was working on the light shows all day long. You're also, like, more interested in, like, throwing a ball at something to make sure, like, it works. Correct. Than yeah. You are, then you like, are actually, uh, I mean, we do a lot of playing, don't get me wrong, but there's, you could have long stretches of time where, because of the nature of what you're working on, you're not actually playing pinball. Yeah. And then outside of work, like I like to do other things, especially now that it's summer. I want to go out and walk, ride yeah. my bike. Like, uh, you know, so I, I'm tempted to like not do pinball -y things after pinball. I mean, after work, you know, it was with some exceptions, like when I, pl I still play in a league, and that's a ton of fun. Oh, I got league I tomorrow, think that, actually. I think that's something I want to start doing. Is, yeah. Uh, now that I have my evenings back, I'd love to start playing in a league. Our league only plays once a month, and it's always on a Saturday. Oh, is it the? It's not the, the Chicago Pinball League. Like the, no, not the Mafia. The other one. Oh. We fight with the Mafia. Yeah. No, I'm totally kidding. I have friends and all. <laughs> we're all we're all friends. It's been three days for me. I'm fiending. Nice. Internet. Yeah, it's it's also good that um, I'm streaming a lot less because there's a lot less opportunity for accidents since I am working completely out of my studio for the next couple of months, and I've got sensitive materials plopped everywhere in this building. 
Same with my basement. Too. Yeah, right. <laughs> I have to like, I have to like go hide things when I have people come over if they want to do. If uh -huh. we do want to hang out and play pinball. Underwear, yes, it's all underwear. It's sensitive underwear materials all over. The those would be. Those are no. Those are delicates. Not <laughs> delicates. Sensitive. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> delicates. My bad. Whole bonus means that it, your bonus would be applied. The base of your bonus will be applied to the to the bonus that you collect at the end of the next one. So if your base bonus was, let's just say, one million for the sake of example, one million would get added to the base of your next ball bonus. Okay. Mr. Henderson. Mr. Henderson. I knew a Mr. Henderson. <laughs> You're such a dirty cheater. That's not cheater. It's a skill. <laughs> are we are we still on camera, internet? <laughs> I can't go down with 14 million. What the <laughs> hell? Oh, that might be the case though. Yep. Well, 15. Tilt bob absence confirmed. I got a warning. Yeah, but even without a plumb bob, if you slide it enough, the stick will hit the ring. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. So in in my old office that I used to have at, at Stern, yeah, like when I had, we had you know it was full. I had like six seven games in there at any given time. But under the front legs of my games in my office, the floor Smiley was faces. no, was, the floor was just black lines yeah. going horizontally yeah. from all the death shaving I was I would do in there. Gulp. I made a lot of people happy today. There you go, Rondo. Oh no. Sorry, internet. I'm rusty. Yeah, I'm a little rusty too. I actually haven't. Well, we were working on this release, so I was only playing the wizard mode um, while, while we were while we were tuning it for to get it ready to get out. But I wasn't playing like whole games of pinball. I bet on Mike based on ball one. <laughs> You mean his 1.5 billion ball one? That was the best ball one of my life. <laughs> there you go. So this is a mode, again, this mode, you want to combo, you want to do as many combos as you can because when those arrows are flashing fast, when the combo is active, they're worth double. Hey, you're nailing that left door, that left door bit. Actually, you're nailing everything. You only live twice, ladies and gentlemen. So folks, how do you like midday streams? Are you okay with these? Because I like it. <clears throat> if they're gonna happen, uh, they're probably gonna happen around this time. Oh no. Oh, I got a double danger on that one. Oh, the two bob does <laughs> <laughs> That was the fastest I ever nailed the light in the extend. Holy crap, yeah, you blew through that. I like it because it's evening for us. Oh, Neil, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Awesome. Promising day streams for the millionth time. Tell you there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Pat, don't say that. This is cool, pussy get out of work early. <laughs> the only downside for me is I gotta drive in rush hour traffic on a Friday back home. Wow, wow. Midday always on Fridays, please. Those are my half days at work. I like the sound of that. Alright, so now I lit up I got up through all the single jackpots and now I've got doubles going. And you got your extension? And I still have the extend left yeah. in the bank. And playfield multipliers. I haven't. I, I got some. Collect, I've got. Uh, looks like oh, two you got of them. Three more to go. Oh, I, I can't believe I missed the super. I went around the rocket. I got lucky. As you yep. can see, see my progress oh, remained yeah. when the extend kicked in. How many folks in chat have had a chance to play um, 007 recently? 
Not bad, I got a 25 million super, and that was only, in, I'm only in the double mode, and I'm not using a multiplier. Well, since we are on ball three. Yesterday, hell yeah. Played it on Tuesday, played it this morning, nice. Honestly, really digging this game now, hell yeah. TPF, electric bat updated there, so plays great, hell yeah. Have a pro version in the office. Woo! How do you get oh, the extend? No. When you, the when the bird one multiball starts, you gotta make three shots either to the the upper loop or to the upper ramp. You gotta make three shots. Before they time out. Before they time out, yep. You've got roughly ten seconds to do it. Yeah, this code update dropped last night. Last night. Yeah, last night. Oh no. Ah! I'm glad I came to do this because now I'm getting all my missing achievements. Yeah, <laughs> my dev count's got like all of them. Oh, but, really? Yeah, because I, you know, when, when we were developing them, I had to test them. Diamonds are forever. By the way, your flippers are different, but you can. Oop, not that one. Oh, no, my flippers you, are droopy. Yeah, well, no, they're supposed to be, oh, but okay. they're like slightly different than mine. You can backhand that right orbit from a, oh, from a, can, from a trap. You got to thread the you needle. You got to thread the needle, but on mine, I've gotten really good at doing it. Jack, what does losing feel like? I love it, man. I get off on this stuff. <laughs> Marvelous, Marvelous Mechanical Museum Bond and Foo release party tonight. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. If it was closer to my house, I would go. Bond and Foo, how about it? Oh, no. Nice backhand, Mike. Yeah. Oh, no. It's a real easy ski pass to like shoot that right ramp, ski pass it over, shoot the right ramp. Like, yep. I, I can do this up right. By the way, the pops move the lit shot on attaché case. Oh, I see. Now so if it's somewhere that you're struggling, just toss it up in the pops. Killer. Kill it. The last shot will always be the right ramp because okay. we want to hold, we hold the ball for the presentation before Killer. we start the multi ball. Mike, you're shitting on me, bro. Inside of tear gas cartridge. Tear gas cartridge against the side of hell like that. A ski pass to ramp is so easy, even I can do it. There you go. Zip and baby triple jackpot. Woo! I like all the new video. Yeah, bud. This game has come a long way, I dig it. Are the scoops going to be coded to fire independently during 007 wizard mode? The scoops? They yeah. don't, they don't, they do, they've always fired individually. They've always fired individually, yeah. The, are you talking about the pop bumpers? No. They made a, a comment about the, the two scoops earlier. Oh, the, they always, they always, they only fire independently. Yeah. They don't, they can't fire together. Yo, EG Ramps, what's up? This is your first live stream ever? Oh man. You missed a you missed a, a lot of peak dead flip content. Remember when like I passed out underneath those pinball machines? That was a good time. Or when I hurt myself a whole bunch of times? That's always fun. All right, so again, this one, all the white shots build the value of all the next shot and the jackpots. This orange shot it will advance me. I, I got to make five of those orange shots before the time runs out. <laughs> E ramps or E G ramps? Oh, right. I just think ramps because pinball, but it could be E oh, ramps, no. like electronic grandpas. You're forgetting the countless fake out endings because songs you like kept coming out. Yeah, I get it. Internet, listen, we could sit around and reminisce about the good old days. <laughs> I need a bottle of water. I brought my own because I didn't know if you would have snacks available for me. Oh, thank you. Oh no, I got greedy. I played with my food too long and I should have just gone for the next Just shot. Gramps, but that name was taken. All right, Gramps, good to see you, buddy. Welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host, Jack Danger.
Damn, Mike. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. I got this. What do you mean? The game's over. <laughs> Keep knocking over that magnet. Um, what do you think, Mike? You want to do one more and then call it? Yeah, you want to give you a chance to redeem yourself? Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Mike. <laughs> All right, watch this. For the this record, internet. Jack is actually is a more consistently better player than me. I'm I'm good, but I'm really spotty as far as like I'm not that consistent. When you were streaming every day, like you oh, were dude. consistently much, yeah. you know, way more consistent than me. I want that. I want that U-turn. I U-turn on this game so much. I do too. I'm like I'm I very can't wait excited. Wait till we get that that component in the game. I'm because, very excited uh, for it to show yeah. up. Yeah. And you can actually do it on purpose from the lower left flipper. This, this stream will be archived, so you can always go back yep. and reference it. Especially the first half of it, where I went over it in great detail. You know all the rules and the nuances to the rules of the game. Yeah, but oh, as soon as we're done here, I'll start the uh, uploading process immediately. Michio TPF, thanks for being a genuinely nice guy. Listen, I'm secretly a piece of crap. Secretly, though. <laughs> I want my Q branch. What are you doing, danger? I'm remembering, internet. I'm remembering how to control the ball. I shouldn't have started that without a mode. Frick! Yeah, I know. I did the same thing on the first ball. On the first game, I made. Mean. Come, come, come. Oh yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Oh, okay. I hit that. Get out of here. Stop. Uh. Uh. Oh, you came out. Get back in there. Okay, let's see if we can hit it. Control. Ah, but, but. Ah. Stay alive. Ah, cheeks. All right, high stakes. You've really improved over the last the game. You know what? Game was one ball. <laughs> the first game was one ball. That is true. <laughs> Uh, Jetpack currently is a little harder each time, but and there's also a setting to make it even harder than that. But um, again, we might revisit it to make it a little bit more difficult the second time, more, more than it is. But I can't guarantee it. But we, that's something we'll look at for sure before we're done. When we go to pilot, you know, when we go back to clean up a bunch of the stuff. I think the second one's a little too easy, personally. But you know. That's something I have to. That Lonnie and George and I all have to discuss together. And great shot, nice shot. <laughs> um, for the for, the, for uh, Buck, your question: the first multi ball you get, the all three locks get lit at once, so the gates always the ball will always lock, but um, subsequent bird one multi balls, you have to light each lock, so then the center becomes a way to feed that upper flipper. If you're talking about the control gate from the other shots, um, the, uh, the tank target, I believe, toggles it. Right now, you can see that that, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You can kind of see on the play field cam, see how the upper right flasher is blinking? That means the gate's gonna be uh, open. If he hits the tank target, it will turn that off and then the gate will close. So you can kind of control the destiny of the ball off the right orbit. The destiny of the ball. Because sometimes you want it to in the pop, especially if you're trying to build up the, you know, if you're trying to light the Q branch and light the Bond Woman. Yeah, jetpack ready, woo! Oh, and the ball is launched to feed the top flipper. Um, Right now, we, we we feed it based on I think what we think we want, where we want it to go, or depends on if, if what the mode's running. 
Sometimes we don't want it to go in the pop, sometimes we do. Um, so there is some logic there about when it is and when it is not open. Why do I have an alarm For example, in bird one, if you drain, it's gonna feed your upper flipper when it plunges, so that way you get another shot at those side shots to get the extent. I do an epic connery, all right, great. Boing, boing. Largo. You're doing much better this time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. This, this, is more, this is much more normal now. Yeah, right. No, we're doing. No, I'll something. probably have the bad game. Largo. All right, so I need. I want to start a multi ball. And I want to bring my multipliers in with that. What do you got? You got a couple of them, right? You got two, and you got three ready to be ready to be collected. For the, the ladies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got three waiting to pick up. You Bond know. women. And Bond woman. And Bond uh, woman. Doc, so, Dr. No, that's the pro model. The pro model has no physical ball locker on the rocket, so the, the locks are all virtual. Um, and also, the jetpack toy is not on the pro, which means that your super jackpot's a roving light, and you don't get the controlling thing or the you know the 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 uh, the those 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 uh those features. Our first date. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to know, I chose this instead of getting a tattoo today. All right? I'm just letting you know. That's how much I love you. I'm glad you did, Jack. It's good to see Mike, you. It's, it's, it's good to see awesome you. The heavy here, it's bro. really fun being back. Like, we don't get to see each other in person too often these days. What's a tattoo? Um, I was going to get uh, a moth tattooed on my arm. There's a cool looking moth. Oh no. You have enough tattoos. No way, bro. <laughs> now I can't find that left orbit. There it is. Did George and Keith opt for the tattoo today? Hello. Yes. <laughs> got a tattoo of us to show how much you look. Oh my god. Internet, I've got a dead foot tattoo, so I'll always remember you. And in fact, one of them is right over my heart. Yes, I have a lot of real estate to cover. Yeah, I got my flipples. Mostly legs. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all <laughs> leg. Very dangerously short torso. Oh no. I was much more consistent on that left orbit on the first game. Gotta cover those chickens. Oh, Mike, you have a, uh, how many tattoos you got, Mike? Zero. No? Yeah, I'd have expected you to have like the the, the blue says. germs circle. I, if I would get anything, I'd get the skinny puppy logo like the S and the P. Okay. That, that was the only tattoo I ever once considered getting when I was younger. But When uh, Jody, myself, and Evie were at some event, we all got the Misfit Skull tattooed on our ankles. Ankle tattoos are... You poopy. should get an MXV tattooed on, your, on you somewhere. And get it under my chin. There you go. <laughs> on the inside of your lip. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll get right on there. Ooh, skill shot into a Q branch. What a wonderful... What a wonderful surprise. Build up the value. And put it in the thing. Okay, five million. Give me some more value. Love it. Get a handful of shots. Fall in? Oh, I love you. <laughs> okay, more value. Bing! Oh. Thank you, slingshot. I love you. Slingshot told you. It screwed you, but yet it saved you. It was not a slong shot this yeah. time. <laughs> no need to change the O to an I. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. 
Voodoo. Voodoo. Oh, no U-turn. Soon. Eventually. Fall in. Oh, I love you. And like 20, 27, 28 years ago, okay. I would have considered a Mortal Kombat tattoo. So oh, yeah, right. Because, you know, I worked on those games back then, but it was... Now that to see it was just a lifetime ago, but I did have I, I'm very proud of my contributions to that that company, uh, and that's where I started. And I would you know I wouldn't trade it for anything. Like I had a lot of good times working with the MK team back in those days, and I'm still friendly with all the the the, the veterans, the like NetherRealm team. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. like the, you know, the the main guys that have been on that since the beginning. The Boone Tobias. Yeah, is... Boone and Tobias and Vogel and Steve. Let's kill it. Tony, like those guys are all still friends of mine, and it's always a treat anytime I ever, we ever get to catch up. No, you. What the? Oh. What the, the flipper moved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, out. <laughs> God damn it. I was building that sucker. Oh. Hey, you picked up a few achievements. Nice work. Welcome aboard. 97 on internet. I just want to take a minute. I do appreciate everybody for all the support over the years. And those of you that still continue to support, honestly, it means the world to me. Uh, I love you dearly. Again, I'm, I'm not gone forever. I am back for special events and I, I look very much forward to those streams. So again, thank you so much. I love you. I wouldn't be here uh, crying and screaming and sweating over pinball designs if it wasn't for all of you. Will you do parties? Like private parties? Like children's pizza parties? <laughs> Come on over to Dead Flip. Yeah. There'll be lots of swearing and alcohol. Play a wall. Go in the... Don't do that thing. Any, any more questions, Internet, while we're still here? Because I believe this is our last game. Yep, right? this is the last game. Yeah. Mike's on the mic. Got any, Tony S. Pro Skater pin design coming down the pipe. Oh man, the soundtrack in that game would be freaking nuts. If any of you guys and gals will be at the Southern Fried, uh, the Southern Fried show in Atlanta next month, I will be there at the Stern Marco booth. Oh, dude, Southern Fried is um, awesome. Please come up and say hi. Ask me anything you want in person. Um, play a game with me at, in our booth. It'd be a lot of fun to meet y'all. And if you guys want to go to the Waffle House, there's one with me while yeah. we're there. There's one right across the street. Mike, Mike's all about that Waffle I House. I am all about the Waffle House and the In-N-Out Burger. I don't know who's going to Comic-Con next month. It, it's definitely not me. I always go to Comic-Con, but I don't... Uh, I did the first, like, two years in a row with you guys, but then for some reason I don't get to go anymore, but... Internet, my my going to Comic-Con is forever and always because that space that we use is actually uh, MySpace. Not MySpace, the website. <laughs> um, that room was gifted to me every year by the president of uh, San Diego Comic-Con. So I have, I have like, a, a nice little corner where there's, like, a heat lamp and, like, blow up palm trees and people are fanning me. It's pretty awesome. I don't ever... I went to Comic-Con two years in a row and never saw that happen. <laughs> it's hidden from everybody. This I don't want you speaking Does this, this, this happen after all the drinks? Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm eating sushi off and naked people. It's awesome. Bod, it, Bod isn't published. You're, joke, you're joking, right, Tater? Oh, no. See, look at it. Just like I predicted, you'd win the next one. Beep. All right, Internet, last chance for any final questions. You know what, Mike? There's a, a very funny thing that might have just happened. What's that? It's a good chance none of this was recorded. Uh, you got to be kidding me. Slip, slip, slip. Yeah, I mean, you know, you'll probably be fired over this. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. 
bonus plan for sweeping specter targets. Can you hit... You can't progress specter in... You can, pro you can progress specter all the time. Okay. Really? The only exception might be during a wizard mode. Okay. Rock and roll. Shucks, looks like you guys have to do another stream. Yep, guess so. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming today. Um, this has been the step through of all the cool new stuff that has happened on the 007 since, uh, well, since forever. Um, a lot of good things have happened in the last co few code updates. We wanted to clarify a few things, uh, but overall, this game is really shaping up. Get in here, Mike. Uh, I didn't realize I was uh, on the camera. Sorry, people. <laughs> Shout out again to Mike Vinicor for being here. Internet, it was awesome seeing you. Um, and I will uh, double check to make sure that this was all recorded. Because that would have been fun. Yeah. If not, guess what? We get to do it all again. There you go. And hey, since <laughs> thank, thank you all for watching. And thank you all for your you know continued support of supporting us all at Stern. Um, you know, we couldn't be doing any of this without you. And uh, we appreciate it. Hell yeah. And Love you. That's about all I got. Okay, don't all cry. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about the traffic on the way home. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what I'm going to cry about. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, friends. Have a wonderful night. Listen, this will be up on YouTube as soon as possible. Mike, I'm just remembering. It's been a month. It, this has been recorded. Okay. It was recorded. It was recorded. All right, good. Um, it's just not published. Okay. All right, friends. Um... Until next time, I don't know when I'll see you again, but that's why this is so exciting. Yep. I still got all these expensive freaking cameras, so I got to keep doing it. There you go. <laughs> see you, everybody, and thanks right, again. Friends. Have a good night. I love you. Enjoy your Friday. Go do some stupid stuff, and let me know on social media exactly uh, how much your bail is. Okay? Goodbye. <laughs>